Hi! Welcome to XCOM Impossible. I'm doing an Iron Man playthrough. I nailed the regular Iron Man. Uh, abused save a little bit. Uh, so I figured I would force myself to have a regular playthrough. I'm using second wave options, not created equally, hidden potential, and absolutely critical. Absolutely critical guarantees a critical hit on flanking. I'm starting in Europe. And the other two randomize your rookies and your upgrade levels. I'm also enabling, uh, I'm going to take Slingshot, just because it gives you a bit of a lift. Anyway, this first mission, uh, I made a couple of really stupid mistakes here, but it went okay. I'm not too fussed. If I lose a couple of people on the first mission, it doesn't really bother me. Um, there's going to be plenty of opportunity. Your next battle is usually a UFO. So it's not the end of the world. I was checking out the stats of them there. I've got two guys at 70, one at 60, or two guys at 80, one at 70, one at 60. Uh, and I'm just hiding behind some heavy cover here right near the start and then advancing that woman, I think she is, uh, to look for enemies. And sure enough, three sectoids are there. There's eight in total on the first map every time. So I think about going for a shot, but it's only 40% to hit. So instead I hunker him down bring the other guy around to overwatch and bring the other two into cover, hoping that the aliens will make a mistake and run into my overwatch. Uh, sure enough, one of them does. Uh, pretty clean kill there, so that's the first sectoid down. The other one is just there in the distance. Uh, still 40% to hit, I don't know why I bothered checking, so I hunker down again and leave the overwatch wall up. I bring this girl back, hoping for a double overwatch. It's a bit risky because she's out of cover, but I'm hoping the aliens will walk into it. The hunkering down helped. I go for a risky 40% shot and miss. And then I'm thinking about bringing Robinson up to flank them, but I don't really know what to do or how to do it. Now, this is where I make my first big mistake. I overwatch everyone and hope that the aliens will come for a run again. They don't. They take a shot. I should have realized they do that. And I end up running Robinson all the way to the back, hoping that she'll be in position to move up next time. This was foolish. Uh, I bring that guy in to reload. Uh, take, oh no, so I, I didn't take Robinson, I took uh, someone else, but she's cannon fodder anyway. And bring her back on Overwatch, hoping to tempt the aliens into my kill zone. I get a three point damage there. That guy is now unflanked, but unsurprisingly, he takes down uh, Evans, rookie Evans, because she's just standing in the open. And that was, I don't know what I was thinking there. I'd have been better dashing to hard cover, I was just scared of Overwatch. But really, Overwatch dashing would have been better, because at least they'd get a chance to miss. I go for a blind grenade here, hoping I know roughly where he is, and sure enough, he is standing by that car. So that's two down, and the car is on fire. I bring the other team up to Overwatch to cover the guy in small cover. This guy doesn't do anything strangely, and the car detonates him. So that's three sectoids down, leaving five to play. Then it's moving up the left flank. Uh, I don't really want to advance in the middle, because typically on this map, they tend to hang around the middle quite a lot. So I want to come in from the side, keeping as much hard cover as I can. And there's a truck just up ahead, that blue one on the right of the screen, uh, that offers hard cover if I can make it there. So I'm down to three guys. It's not too bad. They're all on Overwatch. And then I move up to soft cover and reveal three more little sectoids who immediately scamper off to cover themselves. Now I don't really know what to do here, so I bring these guys back to Overwatch and dash the chick back for hard cover there. And then they, the aliens don't do anything, so I advance her back, hoping to flush out the first three, only to reveal the last two. So now it's five on three, and things aren't looking good, so I pull back again and overwatch these two again, hoping the aliens will just do something stupid. They don't do much of anything except advance here. Uh, I get a pretty solid hit there, but it's only a three-point hit. And since they're on Overwatch, there's no chance of a critical. It's a miss there, so we've got a slightly wounded alien and four more at full strength. They shoot back. Uh, they hit Cohen, who then panics. He fires back, fortunately, rather than attacking my team, but misses. Uh, so no kill there. Uh, other chickadee panics, but she hunkers down. Uh, Wilkinson, Watson, I forget her name. Uh, but Cho takes a shot here and makes a clean kill on that alien. So we're three on four now, which is slightly better news. This guy makes a break for it, uh, but then pulls back, strangely, leaving me a chance to dash out here. Again, a really stupid move. This is my second big mistake. The third one is coming up. Uh, there's double overwatch here, and I really should have known that. 
Um, but I really wanted a chance to get around and flank. Fortunately, one hits, the other misses. But still, it leaves her on one health. She doesn't panic, uh, but that leaves Cohen with no one to shoot at. I'm thinking about moving him up, but there's nowhere really safe. I don't want to get him into half cover, so instead I bring Cho round the side, hoping to be able to flank these guys, and just put Cohen into hard cover. The aliens are obviously flanked, so the first thing they want to do is get away from... Uh, get away from being flanked, which is good news because it means they'll waste their moves rather than shooting back. I've got a 30% chance to hit there with not much uh, going on. So instead I focus on Cho and bringing him round and take uh, the chick into hardcover and Cohen, I must remember the chick's name, Cohen goes into Overwatch. Robinson, that's it. Robinson, not Wilkinson. Uh, Cho comes up uh, and I just keep these guys relatively hidden. But an alien pops around here, he uses all his moves. I guess he was trying to flank, but he's run out of moves, so he can't take a shot. I was freaking out there, because I'm thinking this guy's going to get another shot in. But fortunately, absolutely critical works in my favour, because a flanked shot guarantees a critical. Anyway, I move Cho up. He's got a risky shot here, 40% to hit. But I figure, what the heck at this point, and it works out in my favour. Robinson has a clean shot here, 98% to hit. There we go. So that is pretty safe. I maybe should have moved her back a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. I leave Cohen there in Overwatch, which is probably pretty foolish, uh, because now Wilkinson has an opportunity here, but I was worried she was going to get flanked. Anyway, she does a really clean kill there. Again, absolutely critical, working in my favour. Uh, so now what we're down to, I think, just one alien left. I lost track, and I totally lost track in the game as well, which was very foolish. Now here's my third mistake. What I should have done is grenaded that cover there, and then bought uh, Cohen up for a clean shot with no cover on this guy. But instead I take a stupid 40% shot there, and I miss. Uh, Cho comes up. I'm fairly certain there's still one guy left, which is why I'm freaking out a bit. Uh, so I get Robinson to grenade his cover, hoping he'll move back. Um, the car is on fire, so I'm hoping he'll take his move to run, and I put him on overwatch, hoping that the alien will run back in. Unfortunately, the alien advances towards me, gets a really easy shot on Robinson, and kills her. Thankfully, no one panics. Uh, so I've got a shot here which misses, and I bring Cho up for another 40% shot, which then hits. So not the most elegant uh, of matches. It was three big mistakes which led to two unnecessary deaths. Uh, it could have been a lot cleaner. Anyway, the two guys who survived both get promotions. We get a sniper and an assault, which actually works out quite nicely. A heavy would have been nice, but those two are both good. Uh, obviously I get some bits and pieces, uh, and I take weapon fragments, which the uh, Valen, I think her name is, Dr. Valen moans about, oh, I think you should focus on the good things. Uh, nothing to build at this point, so I go ahead and scan and get a UFO contact. It's a small UFO. Uh, so I scramble interceptors, off they go. And it's a pretty quick fight. The interceptor doesn't take too much damage and the UFO goes down quickly. So I send off the Sky Ranger, but not before checking the barracks to see who the next two highest skilled rookies are. Uh, it turns out that the ones that are best are, I think, Kraus and Wilson with an aim of 70 each. So I put them in and kit out my Assault and Sniper in colours so that I can easily identify them on the field and then it's off to deal with Operation Dying Calm in Germany and I will see you in the next video for that. Lots of love, bye!